IHTN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, everybody. It's a sad day here at Braves Beat. We missed one of our own, Jay Va, who has disintegrated into nothing. But luckily, today's episode is all about Jay. We have an old relic of Jay he used to wear a lot in the studio. We miss him bravely. Oh, we miss him greatly. So without further ado, we have Florian here, one of our fellow cast members who was uh, with Jay Va in uh, this, time of, this time of sorrow right now. But the greatest thing you're going to miss about Jay? Um, like you've seen on the stand-up comedy, he's always, he can always make some good jokes and um, yeah, he's just very creative, very funny and yeah. What do you think Jay's best quality was? His best quality? Also, I think it was a stand-up comedy. He really has a good career in that. It's gonna be the next Kevin Hart. Oh yeah, <laughs> for I, sure. I chime in and ask myself that question. You know, it's got to be that smile. Yes, yes. Um, he also did a very good role at The Bachelor. I think Jay uh, influenced you as a person, um, if at all. He influenced me a lot. Um, he taught me to see the world from the funny side. <laughs> Back with round two with Rama. Now Rama, it's a sad day here in the studio. Yes. But um, what do you think was your favorite uh, package Jay did? It was definitely the stand-up comedy. It like hit me pretty deep. Which one? He did like three, right? Did oh he yeah, like he did. I think it was like the one where he did the so like creative and like so inspirational leprechaun dance. It was just incredible. Oh, that was the most recent one, if I do remember. So let's just take a pause. We're gonna roll that right now. So I got a couple of dances I wanna show you guys. First I got the um, Victor Cruz salsa dance in the NFL, so. Yeah, do the salsa, baby, do the salsa. <laughs> Yeah, do it, baby, do it. <laughs> and then I got the cucaracha dance. So, it's like, mm, 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 mm. And then I got the Demetrius Baylor dance. This is my Demetrius Baylor dance. This is my Demetrius Baylor dance, baby. <laughs> Yeah. Whew, he had done some good dancing, right? Yeah. Wow. So good. Yeah, what was the brightest moment you spent with Jayva? Well, that's a difficult one. A lot of the times I didn't want to be around him, but uh, <laughs> I think one of the brightest ones was when he, like, four or five times in a row asked me for a ride back home, and I said no. That was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty, uh. Yeah. Oh, whew, that's deep. That's deep. Um, ooh. Where, where do you think you're going to see Jay Va? Where, like, where do you think the next place you're going to see him is? It could be anywhere. Panera, Potbelly, hell. on the street. Uh, hell. Yeah. When I go there. Oh. Well, just look at that face. Are you crying? Are you okay? Maybe. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> all right. Thank, thank you very much. Greetings. Round three. The, J the J Va expose. Rest in peace to Braves Beat show. Now we have Sailor Betts, fellow cast member and uh, crewmate of the one and only J Va. Sailor, what was your favorite moment spent with J Va? I gotta say, I think my favorite moment spent with Jay Va was his confidence with all of the Bachelor candidates. A little bit overconfident at times, but it's the one and only Jay Va. I mean, there's no, there's no filter right here, and that's one of his best characteristics. 
Um, we have a wig. Or an article of clothing Jayvaw used to wear. But what do you think was your favorite getup Jayvaw had on? Favorite getup? Um, I think probably the long blonde wig. I think that just yeah. kind of emphasized his personality, and it's kind of hard to beat that one. Could you demonstrate one of Jay's dance moves? Um, liked his uh, Demetrius Baylor dance. That uh, was kinda, yeah, that was good. Uh, kind of a highlight of his abilities as a dancer. What was one thing Jay Va taught you, and anything? I think Jay Va taught me that there's a new low standard of comedy, and <laughs> that and that you can and will be able to find a new low standard in comedy. But low in a good way. Low is in the best way, because what's comedy without low standards? Amen. Thank you, Sailor, very much for your input. Now we're going to swing it over to Julianne, last but not least. Make sure I look pretty in Rama. I look ugly always, Julianne. I can't really change that. <laughs> I'm done. Hello, everybody. We're almost done. Got the final, last but not least, crew member, Julianne Lambert. Julianne, what was your favorite moment spent with Jay? Basically, everyone was out of the room except me, Rama, and Jay, and Jay looked pretty, very, very, very kind of like s suspicious, kind of. Very sus. Uh, yeah, very sus on his uh, computer over there in the corner, you know, you never know what he's doing. If I got to ask myself that question, probably catching Jay Va on a secret Microsoft Excel spreadsheet oh. filling out statistics of college basketball players. And for some reason, he kept it a secret. Yeah. So what was one thing Jay Va taught you in anything? I'm at least better than someone in the world. <laughs> wow. <coughs> oh, jeez. Let's take a little pause. <laughs> what was your favorite package Jayvaw did? Personally, humorly, I don't whatever, I don't know what I just said. Um, <laughs> overall, personally for you. Uh, I don't remember. He's not very a memorable guy. Jay, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I didn't do this. <laughs> This is all, this is not totally unfiltered. Um, Julian, thank you very much for being a part of this. And uh, of course, we all miss Jay. Um, some more than others. Mr. Depps, what was your favorite package you did, um, Jay Vaugh produced, do you think? I don't remember. <laughs> did, he, did he do a package? He did The Bachelor. He did a few on the green screen. And I think he did the wig and the library did a bunch of those. Uh, I don't think he produced one package. <laughs> I think he was the star. The star. What do you think his favorite, your favorite uh, package was that he was a part in, a part of? Uh, the the stand-up comedy that I didn't understand. <laughs> um, and what do you think your favorite quality Jay had? Um, he was always cooperative. He was willing to uh, put himself out there uh, at the pleasure of everyone else. And I think that's a special, special thing to do as an individual. It's hard to really put yourself out there and have people laugh at you. And I what? think he's a special person because of that. And what is one thing you'll miss from Jay Va? Oh, gosh. There's too many things to mention. <laughs> uh, but no, he, he was, uh, from the time I met him as, a, I think, a freshman, anyway, in video one, uh, he actually blossomed uh, as, he, as he got into this a little bit more. And I, I really believe that his family being the Braves beat team really embraced him and and gave him the inclusion which was uh, I think really important right. there's so many people in that class he could have got lost in the shuffle yeah you know so. indeed well thank you very yeah. much yeah. yeah that's it yeah. thank you okay we're out all right nice <clears throat> sorry to interrupt you <laughs> it's okay what game are you playing Mario Kart can I have your Snapchat? No. I will destroy all of you. I don't think so. <laughs>
failure. What else? Do you like G-Speed or BBIS? What's BBIS? <laughs> Why do you like that more than J-Speed? I don't, I don't want to be like that. You know J-Speed is going to take over one day. Well, it's the third. Looking handsome today. Do you prefer J-Speed or uh, Braze, Braze Beat? J-Speed or Braze Beat? I gotta go with Jay's beat. I mean, you gotta name it after the most handsome guy in town. Thanks, Sid. Jay's beat, definitely. You got great hair, dude. Like, all the ladies will love you. She already do. Oh, yeah. That's class. What's up, Billy Joel? Hey. How's it going? Do you like Jay's beat or Bray's beat? Jay's beat. I will destroy all of you, Braze Beat. <laughs> Do you prefer Jay's Beat or Braze Beat? Jay's Beat. Totally. Why? It's more uh, sports oriented. You know, when you talk about like um, different sporting events that you picked right after the fact, and you're never wrong, right? Correct. Right.